We had a great opening of the Dutch season. I spent a few sessions with buddies Frans and Jesper out on the water. We caught several amazing fish. The warm weather quickly disappeared and temperatures went down drastically. Almost 12 degrees down and a truckload of rain swept over the country. Nonetheless, we will continue to fish with swim baits as it is so damn productive. We hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please like, subscribe because that's the best way you can support the channel. For now, enough talking and let's dive into the video. Good morning boys and girls. It is horrible weather today. It is raining cats and dogs, I think the phrase is. But it's, uh, it's shit. It is really, really shit. It, um, last hour it was almost 20 millimeters of rain, so that was quite horrible. But we are going to fish on a small lake in the morning, and then we're gonna switch to another lake in the afternoon. Hopefully we can dodge a big thunder and rainstorm in between those two sessions. Um, but yeah, shitty weather. It feels actually cold and it's the midst of June, so it's not a good indication. But nature could use some rain, so that's good. And we are going to troll on a big and clear deep lake, trying to catch some pelagic pike. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. number one for today we had a couple of takes uh, at least three caught two now I'm gonna switch to another lake one thing that's productive for us in this time of year is that we just fish multiple lakes find the active fish and just move to the next spot and that's what we're gonna do now and later on we're gonna check the cameras because I have a feeling we might have seen a couple of more fish so let's get the boat on the trailer and move to the next one also the sun is finally out. Wow, it makes such a huge difference in either having full sunburst or sitting in the rain like we have been sitting the entire morning. So we started out late anyway and we dodged the rain for the most part. And now we're gonna try and dodge the rain again. Fish the later part of the day. Oh, that's number three on the new leg. And Jesper tried to show us one of the meanest pike ever because it was missing a part of his jaw. But he did a big backflip. Things are looking up. I think the big ones are binding with this really strange stormy weather. Dark clouds coming over, big rain showers, and then you're sitting in full sunburst. Usually these days are when the uh, really big ones come. Stop it. Get some help. Eating. I don't know how many takes you already got, but this is a good 90 plus fish. Yes, we caught a 105. I didn't really measure it, but 
wind is blowing like a maniac. Now we got another good It's not a meter plus bike, but it's a good one. And this time it's on the German. Bye bye. Obviously, inhaled something, so maybe I can show it to you guys. Close to the evening, we decided to call it a day. Set aside the rain and the late autumn temperatures and you could say that we have one hell of a day. Over 20 fish and many fish lost as well. But that's all in the game when you throw with big rubber baits. You simply cannot have a 100% successful hook ratio. Especially when trolling with paravans or plane aboards. You just have that bit of slack in your line that you just cannot avoid completely. Other than that, pike have teeth, rubber baits are soft and they just sink their teeth in and they will get away nonetheless. I mean, it's all about reducing the amount of fish you lose and you can up your percentage of successful hookups by tightening the drag, get bigger trebles, but you will never, never eliminate losing fish completely. But before you continue, we want to congratulate the winner of the Deeper Chirp giveaway. Congratulations Stefan with the Deeper Chirp. Send us a message on Instagram and we will make sure that the Deeper Chirp goes your way. In the near future we will continue to give away cool products to our subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Soon we will do a giveaway of some really hard to get custom lures. Also. Due to the global pandemic, we are unable to travel and film a sequel to the Dalslan Canal expedition. We will do something completely different but exciting nonetheless. Stay tuned on our social media channels to be updated on what we're planning for the coming weeks. That's it for today's video. Soon we'll drop a second Sweden video that will include another giveaway. Good luck the coming weeks. June can be one of the most productive months of the season. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Sun.